السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم بیک ٹو ایم اے سی اسٹوڈیو وی ہیو ٹیکن دا انٹرویو اینڈ ہیڈ اے ڈسکشن ود ناظم اعلیٰ صاحب آف اجتماع ہی از دا پرسن ہو از اوور سینگ آل دا ایکٹیویٹیز آف اجتماع بٹ دیر از این ادر ویری امپارٹنٹ ڈپارٹمنٹ ود رسپیکٹ ٹو دا اجتماع وچ از سیٹ اپ اینڈ دین دا وائنڈ اپ ان اوور اسٹوڈیو رائٹ ناؤ وی ہیو ابرار مہار صاحب ہو از اے نائب ناظم اعلیٰ of set up and wind up welcome to the studio and we will discuss uh, about the ishtama set up when they start the set up how big the set up is what the departments are under him all those things so let's talk with him jazakallah ibrahim mar sahab i know you are very busy with ishtama preparation ishtama uh, set up and all the departments so very basic question which i am going to ask and which this this is the question which i am asking with most of the naib nazim ala for our viewers what is set up and wind up and how many departments are under your uh, supervision jazakum allah daud ismail saab for having me in the studio uh, by the grace of allah taala uh, this year once again uh, sadar sahib respected sadar sahib gave me the opportunity to work at the naib nazmi ala and gave me uh, a chance once again uh, for a set up and wind up so i have 11 departments in set up and wind up uh, i'll just call out some key department Uh, we have electrical department we have uh, set up i have then nazmin set up uh, we have wind up within uh, set up wind up whole team uh, we have uh, uh, fire and safety uh, which is a new addition uh, department as as compared to the previous year as we are growing it as so we are right. growing it exactly and and then uh, i also have a plumbing uh, we have some component for the plumbing running the uh, the water lines we got a sink station wuzu stations there we have some washrooms there so that is also part of uh, the team then uh, we have a setup a fashura setup team because with as you know in with our ijtama we have uh, you know one day prior on every friday we have a shura so we would have to do a shura setup and then wind up so that's kind of you know the work is also part of our setup wind up when we are doing the whole ijtama then i have a facility and resources this is a very, very critical role for facility resources is to ensure that Uh, all of the resources are available to other department uh, the facilities the booking for all those with the vendors uh, the tent the marquee the chairs the table you name it every every single item you know on the istamaga side is uh, is either we purchase we build from scratch or we are renting it and once we're going to do a wind up it's going to be all bare ground nothing else just the grass and dirt yeah. so for our viewers tell us how big the ishtama site is how many marquees you have put it over there and what are the sizes of those marquees what are the setup activities are can you tell us about that thing i can definitely give you a very quick overview but i think we need to go there to take a look it's not possible to, for me to explain everything here until you go and see and the and the viewers and the viewers can see like you know like what are we exactly talking about in terms of the i think this is a great site. idea that instead of we are discussing in a studio and f- telling about the numbers and figures and all those things the size of the market is 20 by 30 by 70 not lot of people can visualize that thing so viewers uh, i would uh, go with uh, ibrar mohar saab into the actual ishtama site where the ishtama preparation is going on and we will take you over there and the rest of the discussion with ibrar mohar saab we will do it over there so uh, be with us and we will be with you in ishtamaga jazakallah so dear viewers we are right now in front of the ishtamaga and i really like the idea of ibrar mohar saab to let's walk towards the ishtamaga so that we can show you that how big the setup is and for me it is a huge setup we are right now into the main marquee in front of the main marquee and you can see behind me is the some of the setup has been done some are going to be done by the volunteers later on on the day before the ishtama these will be completed uh ibrar sahab tell us what we are seeing here i can see a big tent city i will call it tent city you tell us that what we are seeing over here yeah so by the grace of allah taala you know every year we are progressing whatever we have done in the previous year our team goal is always what else we can do what what other feature add we can add to our you know this year is the ma so this year only we have over 15 tents 
15. 15 tents just as compared to the previous years. And every tent have their own its own purpose. We got a dining tent, we got exhibition tent, we got bazaar, we got like, you know, the main tent, we got registration and so many other tents, first aid and, and all that. So, uh, yeah, so that's something like you can see that, like the, the, the beautification, the, the, the signage, uh, the banners, the flowers, everywhere you see that, it's, 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 everybody come here, they will be amazed to see that, like how long it took, how much preparation you guys made or took in order to build this tent city, as you said that. Yeah. So behind us is a main marquee and the background over there, which they are seeing is, is the food marquee. Looks very small, but it is going on the that yeah. direction and it is a, a, a more than the last year? Yeah, it is like, oh, it, it can accommodate, you know, easily in the dining tent over 2,000 people because we have a sitting arrangement there. Sitting arrangement, yeah. And the, the, the tent size over there is over 18,000 square feet. And our major big tent is, this one is over 25,000 square feet. So we can here in our Istamaga market, we can fit easily to over 3,500 people in Istamaga market. Now, uh, should we go inside the market and see, show the audience that how big the main market is, how the setup is, how the stage is? Let's go inside Ab and absolutely. let's go and we will ask further questions over there. Absolutely, let's go. Right now, we are in the main market. In the background, you can see the stage is going to be developed. The, the backdrop has been hanged. Uh, Rarsa, this, this huge setup cannot be done in a day or a week. And the planning cannot be done in days or weeks. So tell us that how far back you start planning of these things and when you start or when actually you uh, hit the ground for this setup. So yeah, so absolutely. I mean, it, it required a lot of planning. You need, a, you need to have a large amount of time. So we normally start our planning six months before our Istama. And it's just to sit together and see what exactly we want to do, what different we want to do from previous year. And this year is the Maiz, uh, you know, the special thing this year is the Maiz that we are calling it the Ma'at because all three auxiliaries now going to hold their Ishtama at the same Ishtama Ga site in the same setup. So first Ishtama going to be on August 19 weekend, which is in Majal Sansarullah. Then the next weekend would be Majal Khudam al and Atfalu al because we're also doing some setup on the other side of the vicinity for Atfalu al Then the last weekend, the, then the following weekend would be Maj Which is the second, Lajna, third and Laj Yes, Lajna yeah. Malla and Nasrat. So the whole purpose is to do the setup in a way that all three auxiliaries then can use this exactly the same setup to hold their istamad. Lot of planning, lot of efforts, lot of collaboration, and, and one of the challenges you know, was really to have all these three auxiliaries set together and see where we can be on a one common ground. Because the requirements of exactly. each auxiliary uh, organization different. is different. Khuddam exactly. may need a different, yeah. but Ansar, they, they need not only the flooring, yeah. but as well as they need but more chairs exactly. compared to the Khuddam. And the accessibility, right? The, our membership is like, you know, it's an elder, we have elderly people. We have, you know, when, when they are like senior Ansar, they are either on wheelchair, on the scooter, we would have to think about everything, like how they're going to get in. If someone wants to come in and then the main is the Mamuga Marke on the scooter or wheelchair, so we want to make sure they come safely and smoothly. So this year, uh, you know, uh, we have a lot of features we added. We can go over, you know, later, but answer to your question, like, you know, the, the efforts, the collaboration and, and how long you need to have that. It's, it's a lot, lot of time, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, the efforts are needed just for the preparation so, and the planning. So you touched a little bit and you said that we will discuss. That generated another question. What is different from previous year to this year? What the new features has been added? Yeah, so a very, very good question. As I said, like, you know, every year we want to do something you know, better and something more from the previous year. Based so, on the comments which we have received. Exactly, the, the Red Book comes, the, the feedback, not exactly. The comments, not only, feedback, but at the yeah. same time, not just on the feedback, we also want to make sure that like, you know, we want to give a best experience. Yeah. So someone who had attended the Yishma previous year, they come and they feel like, 
you know, we are here. It's something it's new. Not something new, something different, excitement, right? So we want them to keep coming, right? Yeah. So this year, just like, you know, as you can see that, we just recently purchased, this is the LED wall. And Ooh, we, yeah. we purchased this wall uh, and, and this is our, you know, in our, our It's property. our inventory now. It's our inventory now. And again, I mean, like, of course, with other membership, like yes. the auxiliaries, and, and that's something we've seen we made. It's 15 by 10 feet. It's large. This is one of the, you know, the added value. It's going to be amazing view for people who are sitting all the way at the back. Uh, the Ishtabha got size, right? So we had uh, at least 30% more what we had last year. So, so this just size of the Ishtabha is over, as I said, like 20, more than 25,000 square feet. Then we got a stage. We got 40 feet, which is way bigger than what we had last year. And, and you can see that's a beautiful, beautiful you know, the backdrop, the, the, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the podium and the head table is set. The other thing, every year we have our team, the beautification team, they always kind of look for what type of flower we need. You know, the, and, and the time of the year also is important. Right now we are in almost kind of mid of the August and actually end of the August going yes. to be soon. And it's not that easy to find flowers. So this year we also thought, okay, let's make some change. So this year we don't have those real flowers we want to do some kind of difference. So, so, so that's kind of another thing. Uh, another thing you can see that, uh, the air conditioning, right? So we have uh, the air conditioned ducts that you can see, it's a beautifully running on the ceiling. We got all these beautiful new banners. So Because if there are 2,500 people are going to be sitting over here and the walls are closed, they need some kind of uh, cooling mechanism so right. that they, they're, they're body heat is going to be adjusted. Absolutely. That, so this is a good idea yep. and a good feature which we are adding into yep. this one. Yes. And the other thing, like the, based on our feedback again, I mean, again, we want to make sure that we give best experience to our membership. Tyrol is not that far. It's, yep. a, it's, it's, it's a walking distance, but we also thought about those in Saar Brother who, are, who cannot even barely walk and go to the Tyrol hall if they need to go for to the washroom. For bio breaks so, or anything. Exactly. And then we have this year, we had, uh, you know, rented some uh, special accessibility units. So you have a scooter, you can go inside. So yeah. those are installed. That's another added feature this year as well. And, and uh, some evolution areas and... Yes. Yeah, so evolution, it, it, this year we expanded. We have, uh, you know, over uh, 20, just the, the faucets, the sink station we had. So people can wash their hand, people can perform the wuzu, so they don't need to go off site. So everything is at in, within the Istamaga site. So you, you just mentioned, and it, it, it just came into my mind, another question. You mentioned that we are doing in August. August is normally in Canada, is yeah. the busiest month. Yes. Because we have a long winter time and right. then short summer. Acquiring the facilities, renting those things, would be a challenge or was a challenge or not because every other organization is holding their events one way or the other way right so acquiring and the vendor management how you you manage that part yeah so it's, you're up you, you actually touch upon on a very uh, important uh, you know because my point because this is something we cannot acquire all these large equipment as you can see that you know just for doing the setting up this big infrastructure so there's not only one vendor involved. So we have over a dozen vendors. So they have been involved. We engage with them. Yes, it has been very challenging. The other thing is the price negotiation. Because of the inflation, what's happening, interest rates going up, everything is being expensive. So that was another challenge, just looking at our budget, how much budget we have. We also want to add features. We also want to improve quality. But at the same time, you have a limited resource. So, you, so all those challenges were kept in mind. But by the grace of Allah, Allah, by the end of the day, we can see the results. Uh, Allah, you know, uh, bless our efforts. And uh, so we have, uh, we have a very successful uh, setup right here. And this year we have a bigger exhibition marquee as yes. well too. And more bazaar. More stall. bazaar as compared to previous year, you got it. And, and still we have a jalebi stall. And we're going to have a jalebi stall, like, yeah. you know, I think it's going to be I, I think that is, be, that is the most popular... Fresh live fresh prepper, preparation. Karma Garam jalebi is yeah. always there. And Ansar Brothers, they should come and enjoy that part. Absolutely. Okay. So, so the viewers, you have seen that how huge this tent city is. And it's a days and nights efforts to bring this for you for the enjoyment of the Ansar brothers. They can come, they can have a cozy environment, and they can enjoy the Ishtama. Instead of, I am requesting you, I would say that Ibrahim Mohar Sahib, please convey your message and convey your request to all the Ansar brothers to come and enjoy this Ishtama. 
My please. request to all uh, our uh, younger and uh, elder Insar, please come and uh, spend time here those next two days. It's full of uh, uh, Tarbiti environment here so, and, and you would enjoy the atmosphere here. You would enjoy the food here. And these two days are going to be a blessed day. I hope to all of you to see here at Istamaga starting from August 19th.